How's it going you guys? Welcome back to Unorthodox Savings. So if you clicked on the video, you just want to know how to buy Bitcoin, an easy way, safe way, I'm going to give you multiple ways to do this. So around a month and a half ago, I started a new investment strategy where I dollar cost average $100 a week into my Bitcoin portfolio. And I was just going to keep doing it, keep doing it, no matter what Bitcoin did. And when I started doing that, Bitcoin was around $17,000 for one Bitcoin. And as of this video, it's around $33,000 for one Bitcoin. So $400 of my own money ended up turning into $1,000 of my own money. And I've also made a few dollars in interest. And I'm going to explain how I was able to do that and how you can do that very easily as well. And as always, I am not a licensed professional. I'm not allowed to give you financial advice. So please do not come back to blame me because I will be nowhere to be seen. Now, when it comes to Bitcoin and new age investments like this, you will get a 50-50 group. A group who treats it like a religion and they love it and another group who are naysayers and they hate it. They just think it's too sketchy or too risky. And then there's like the gray area. And the one thing I'm happy about is, is Bitcoin's finally becoming a normalized investment, meaning that you're, it's, when you probably been on a finance YouTube video, you used to get those weird comments where it's like, this person has made me so much money and all these scammers and hackers you hear about. There's a lot of risk in that area and a lot of people just get scared away. It's like, I don't feel like dealing with all this. I just want to know how to make more money without doing a lot of stuff because people have things to do. So where I'm getting at is, is you will find a article to fit whatever you think about this investment. So do your own research and invest the money you want into what you want. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into this. So first things first, you're going to need an app or website or brokerage that you need to use. I use Coinbase personally. I really like them. It's not an affiliate, but I just like the app overall. Um, if you're familiar with the famous YouTuber Andre Jack, he uses Gemini, which is also a very reputable app. And there's other apps such as Blockfolio and Binance, which are also safe to use. So I use Coinbase because it's very easy to use and it's very safe to use. And the reason why I use this instead of other brokerages like Robinhood and Webull, which have recently allowed crypto trading, is because you can't physically own the cryptocurrency. And what I mean by that is cryptocurrency has a thing called forking where if a stock pays a dividend and things like that a cryptocurrency will break into its own chain now for newer investors this sounds like a foreign language i'm leaving a link to a previous video where i go into more details and the technology of cryptocurrencies so if you are interested in that you can watch that if not back to showing you how to buy bitcoin now the apps that i mentioned they charge fees for when you buy and sell cryptocurrencies the reason why is you can look at it as somebody mining out this cryptocurrency for you to own so you're basically paying them now coinbase i like more than gemini's because they offer more ways to fund your account and buy and sell the cryptocurrency so on um, basically you're you're out of luck if you live in canada because you will have to use paypal or a debit or credit card. And the reason you don't wanna do that is, is one, it's not a safe. Two, you have to pay 3.5% fee on any transaction, which is a lot. To just level things out, the stock market annual return is around seven, eight percent a year. And you're paying 3.5% just upfront just to buy whatever it is you wanna buy. Now, what I do is I link my bank account to the app. Now you can use third party apps and websites so that this specific app won't have your banking information, but I personally don't use them and I don't want to recommend anything I don't use myself. So I trust this app 100% with my information and when I put it in there, it lowers the fees. So you don't have to pay as much. It doesn't take as much time to put money in and out of the app, which can be crucial depending on what you want to invest in. Now, I'm gonna go over for Coinbase the different levels of verification and what that offers you. Because the more information you entrust into the app, the more things you're allowed to do with it and the more benefits you get. So level one requires just your phone number and you can invest up to $9,500 into this app and you can use your bank account, a debit card, or a credit card to do so. But like I said before, you're gonna be limited and if you wanna go up to the next level, it just requires more personal information about yourself. It's gonna ask who you are, um, your email address, 
most likely your social security number and things like that if it's not your social security it's going to be your last four digits and then once you do this you're going to have unlimited investing so you can put as much money as you want into the account you're allowed wire transfers which is faster and safer and then if you're from europe instead of using a wire transfer you're going to use the same thing but in i believe it's called sepa from where you guys are from and you can keep us dollars in the app to purchase immediately so you can keep your own currency in there so you can buy and sell without having to wait or do any extra transfers level three requires a photo id i personally used my driver's license for this but um, i allow the app that has information because you can send and receive cryptocurrencies to other people or to purchase things but i use this feature personally to send my money over to blockfi now i think BlockFi is way safer than the apps I use because they are backed by very, very large corporations and funds and their headquarters are in New Jersey. And that's where I live. They're about 45 minutes from my house. So it, in my eyes, this is kind of comfortable. I can drive there. I know for some people that that's not even an option. But the number one reason why I put all my money over to BlockFi is because they will pay you up to 8.6% interest just to keep your money in there. And for about the month and a half that I've been investing into cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin specifically, I've earned around $3 of interest. And what the website will do, because I use their website, is it'll tell you like uh, an estimated interest, like what you're earning, and then every month they'll pay you. And for a lot of people, that's cool because you can reinvest it or you can just take what they pay you and then take it out for yourself. And that's not all. If you're interested in other cryptocurrencies, depending on the coin, they offer other interest rates for different coins, but they always vary. So if you specifically are interested in a different cryptocurrency, just look up on their website what they actually pay for that. And it could be more, it could be less. Now, I really do believe that Bitcoin has a real future in our lives. Yeah, I've seen dozens and dozens of articles saying that Bitcoin in the next couple of years is going to be at a price target of 500000 plus. And for new investors, that makes no sense. And for current investors who have been doing this for a while, it's like a fever dream to why that's even a thing. Because it doesn't really correlate to like other stock prices. Now, before you go off and buy cryptocurrencies because you think the video is over, there is a few serious things I have to bring up. One depending on the app you use there is a limit to how much you can sell at one time so depending on how much money you plan on investing and how much money you accrue over the months and years you should pay attention to what the app limits it and what you can take out per day and per month now another thing to pay attention to is, is you had to pay taxes on your cryptocurrency now all the apps that i've listed have a very convenient section where you it gives you all the information you need so you can just use that to file your taxes. Now there is a way you don't have to pay taxes on your cryptocurrencies, but I, for legal reasons, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to bring that up. So for now, I'm not getting into that. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there is a safer way to invest your money than what I've mentioned previously, but you don't earn any interest or earn any extra money on it. Now it's called the cold storage route because you put all of your investments on a USB stick, which is called a ledger. Now that ledger costs around $60 to own, but it has key phrases and passwords physically stored on this USB stick that you can plug into your laptop and that will give you access to your investments. The reason why people own these is because in order to get access to your money, they physically have to have that. Before the video ends, the last thing I'm going to do is show you guys how I transfer money between Coinbase and BlockFi. And it's a very, very important thing to learn because when you go on BlockFi, you can hit the deposit button. When you hit the deposit button, there's going to be a uh, list of cryptocurrencies that you want. And I click on Bitcoin and it will give you a unique code to your wallet. This wallet is important. It's where all your money's at. So when you click the copy button, you bring it over to Coinbase. And when you go on the Coinbase, you have the money in your account, you buy the cryptocurrency. And when you go to send the cryptocurrency over to BlockFi, you have to paste that link into the address. Now, if that address is wrong, you will lose all of that money and all that cryptocurrency. So you have to be careful. Now, what I've done in the beginning is I just took a few dollars of my own money 
and this practices because like if I lost five dollars that's way better than losing 100 and once you get the hang of it and you feel comfortable then you can start to do this I made it sound a lot scarier than it actually is but if you're in a rush to do things sometimes you can really mess this up so if you're gonna dollar cost average and do this find a time of the day that you know you have some free time that you can just take your time and watch everything be done and then it'll send a confirmation to your email that it's been switched over and then you can check the balance on the website. So that's all I have for you guys today. So obviously I just want to keep the video short and easy to understand. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer down below. If you want to get started investing into cryptocurrencies, I have affiliate links down below to everything I mentioned. If you don't want to use that, you do not have to. It's perfectly okay. And I have a free investing discord down below. The benefits you guys get from that is, is there's a community where you can send memes, talk about stocks, follow what I buy and sell. That's not an investment advice, but some people just like to know what I'm doing personally. I also have a portfolio where I'm going for $1,000 to $10,000 at the end of February, where you guys can watch that. And if you are also a YouTuber, doesn't matter what you do, I have a sub promotion tab where you can promote your videos and social medias. And yeah, this is a cool place to hang out and talk. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time.